Ciao a tutti, eccomi qua finalmente. Sono... Hello everyone, my name is Emanuele, a professional watercolorist. These are some of my works. In this period I'm producing a series of uh, paintings concerning the journey of a sailing ship in search of whales in the ocean, inspired by the movie. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me by mail. Good morning everybody! So today I'll do a detail of my story. I will paint uh, the crew of the ship. So the crew land in a highland and they explore the island. There are uh, local inhabitants there. It's time to create a composition. I would like to uh, paint people on the beach interacting with each other. So I will use two different photos and I will create a composition. It is very simple actually. The only thing that you have to consider is that you will have to dose each one well in order for them to actually appear close to each other. Every time I start a new painting, I choose a mop brush, really soft, to do the background. Then I choose a, a tiny brush to do the foreground, this one and this one, with a really good point here. Then I choose another. The Chinese brush is useful for the straight thin lines in order to do the, ma the strings, um, ropes. And then you have a hard brush in order to erase your work. And then you have other kind of brushes to create uh, thin lines, like this. Well, I've been using them for a while, but then I was happy because it's better to use a larger brush with a lot of air here, so you can move when it's wet. Okay, now it's wet, so you can create a point, as you can see here, or moving the air here, working a little bit you can create two three four to do branches uh, vegetation ropes and that's it these are my brushes i will use them lines to define the ground here is, is useful to break the the uniformity of the color of the, of the of the ground here we must break the horizon line the blue we must break the blue here also this is not good so I break this as you can see as the paper get drier and drier I work I still I can I keep on working on paper to define or redefine and adjust, fix all this kind of stuff. So we are ready. The background is ready. All right. So the first thing I painted was the background because I needed a very pale, barely colored background. But now I need to start painting all the people who populate the scene. A gathering of people who walk and work collectible, a lot of commodities, a lot of, a lot of goods. There are people who come to buy here, others come to sell. In all this mess, you will see two or three important figures, the girl on the right and the captain, and behind him, the, he, his second officer. Now, how to paint some, something like this person here using wet on wet effect? while the paper is dry. It's completely dry up now. I'll show you now how I do this. Because while the color I put here is slowly drying up, I re-wet the edges to create this uniformity to have lost and found effect. Let's do this.
it's time to populate this scene with other fellows. paper dries too much, I keep on using a nebulizer, nebulizing water on the surface to let the painting optimum situation to last longer. I mean in a most situation, which is the optimum for me. Just use the, the brush to clean up the color, erasing it and creating the effect of reflection of the lights on the hair. So the background is theoretically complete. I have the beach here and the sea behind the people. I have the palm trees here. We will work on these three subjects. Never say die until it's dry. <laughs> This guy here. Uh, the pants could be uh, brown, I think. Brown. Yeah, Naples. Brown Siena. Uh, a little bit of white. Ultramarine blue. If you do a, a scratch like this and the scratch closes up, that means that the, weather, the, the, the paper is still too wet. So wait for a while and then do it again. Mm -hmm. 